I preface BBD. This is somewhere I was doing a Yankees off-season burn. It landed up somewhere between slam poetry and a night before Christmas. <laughs> so we'll see how it comes out. This is the first full run. The 2019 season came and went so fast, it all ended when that very little man hit a very big blast. No World Series felt like another season down the plumbing, just to find out the opponent knew what pitch was coming. The big loss was literal, we love you Big C. Gone you are not, in the front office you must be. The off-season needs were few but very apparent, so welcome to our new religion, called Comic Garrett. Big week. Mike Petriello, six under the radar arms for 2020. Adrian Hauser, Brewers. Follows me, number one video on the entire channel. <clears throat> and Julio Urias from the Dodgers, mm -hmm. former top prospect. And Denilson Lamet, my guy from the Padres. Tommy John. Go Fathers. Something we ordered. Tape. <laughs> Guy used to be an electrical supply distribution. He knows the tape box when he sees one. Some tape when I see it. Clear wow. tape. Oh, warm tape. <laughs> oh. Mine went in. Yep. Today is July 21st. Baseball is happening. Spirits are high and voicemails have been coming in. Let's do it. Let's talk yanks if i was a mets fan yeah i'd be screaming the games don't matter who cares yes. but inside i'd be so scared they the yankees just looked on a, a complete another level yeah this is going to be super creepy it won't play on me for some reason won't play for me. It won't play on me for some reason. Play on me. Is this a roller coaster or a fucking monorail ride? Okay, here we go. Okay, roller coaster's actually beginning now. These guys aren't screaming inside their heart. He's fixing his hair. Fix his hair. Yeah, well, man. I mean, they didn't scream I, inside their heart at all. I don't want to say I can sniff out a rat, but that was bullshit. That was. Can you show everyone what screaming inside your heart looks like? Yeah. It was easy. Yeah, I mean, that's trying to I have no idea what you're When about. Alexander Hamilton went to duels, he would just shoot his gun in the air. Yeah. That's also the advice. Because guns were a lot less right? accurate back in the day, too. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want the history of dueling, Trev? A lot of times, duelers in that day would have to accept the challenge, and then they'd meet up, like, beforehand or afterwards, and they'd fill it with, like, so much powder that it wouldn't actually go, and they basically, like, load blanks so they could both walk away. You know, it'd be like a mutually agreed... We're not actually fucking doing this. Then you can you can place it, but I mean it's not Hamilton. Who is it? Uh, Jackson or Jefferson? Is it Hamilton that took the bullet? You heard that? I think that's Jackson. Madison. It sounds like it. Jackson. He took the bullet. He just he just stood there and let him shoot him like this, and then he got shot in the ribs, and he just held himself, and then he aimed his gun like this, and killed him. And he lived with that bullet inside him uh, the rest of his life. You ever heard that story? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Talking Baseball. My name is Jimmy. Sitting next to me is Jake. In the corner is BBD. And in California is X Big Leaguer. How's that feel? Do you, do you want me to remind people that you're Big Leaguer? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. I really All don't. Right. How about that intro? That's, hey, that's Trevor, there's in there's people who don't know you. Well, they're young How's kids. How's that feel? Now, everyone listening, text your friends, send them this episode, say, get up to snuff. Just say that. And then we're there. Get up to snuff. Yeah. 
that up to guts. Guts. Yeah. Up to guts. It's guts. No one is allowed to take labor because his dad DM'd me yesterday. So we're basically family. <laughs> Jack. Yeah, he's our guy. You motherfuckers! We could tell him we drafted. Eat a bug. Eat two bugs about it. Hot boy summer with Tatis. But do we have those positions filled already? We don't, right? Oh, can people hear me? Yeah. We're <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what the fuck? We had the big fantasy baseball draft last night. Team JK Rolling Balls had a fantastic draft. Jake and Kyle, that name got shot down uh, by myself. I didn't even submit it to Kyle. But we had a great draft. We went strong on the pitching. We thought the strong pitching would be more valuable in the smaller league. So that was our strategy. We executed well. Walker Bueller, Jack Flaherty, friends, you could say. And uh, yeah, the lineup came together too. A couple of Astros slipped in the draft. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Oops. Oops. We named the team the Scuds. I didn't know that. I thought we were going with Matt Boy, mine and Matt's team. I love it. We had one strategy going in get Dodgers. They're going to only play against teams that are much worse than them. They don't really have any competition. So we got Mookie right away. We got Judge out there with him. We got Trevor Story at short. Rendon at third. Altuve at second. Max Muncy, love the funky monkey. He can play first, second, or third. I'm, I'm thrilled with the team. Catcher, we waited forever. We got Will Smith. I don't care. We can pick someone up. And then our pitchers, we got them late in the draft. We got Sonny Gray, great year last year. Soroka, great year last year. Not going to get the K's though. Snell, Cy Young winner. Luis Castillo, Cy Young stuff. People have been saying. I, underrated team. People are overlooking us just because we're not being loud hell of a squad the Matt boy team has and then we just started picking up closers at the end Anderson hand workman Leclerc Osuna bad guy and then somehow Matt Boyd found his way into the roster so he's on the block he's on the block same with Vladdy jr. he's on the block too we couldn't decide on a guy and it auto drafted Vladdy for us and we were like ah oh, shit okay well we got him <laughs> I'm about to boom roast an old lady on Twitter. Yeah. She said, I, we posted a video, she said, I couldn't last to see the supposed video because of the offensive, repetitive ads. Mm. Someone responded, when you're so ignorant, you don't even realize there's such thing as fast forwarding the ad read. I said, she's never seen more than the top of the first inning because then those damn commercials come and she leaves. Boom roasted, got her. Keyboard warrior. Boom. So, here's the situation. It's the night before opening day. Um, we had pretty good vibes as Jimmy left the office for the night, getting ready for a big Thursday. Is that what day tomorrow is? Mm -hmm. um, Jake's doing an interview in the studio, saying a little late. And uh, he texted me and John Boy saying, just saw a baby mouse in the studio. Uh, John Boy's now responding. He said, "Fuck that! God damn it! We've got to take out the trash, which actually we are in the process of doing right now. Uh, we were doing that anyway, so probably should have done it earlier. I don't know, but um, yeah, Jake's still in the interview, so I don't want to go in and find out more yet. But that's what we got. Evolving situation. I just saw a baby mouse in the recording studio." Um, he was over, he walked the rim on the trash can over there, if you'd like to get a shot of that. Um, and I was recording, and I don't, I, I'm not sure where he went after that. Um, I don't know if he has a common area, or where he resides. Um, I'll say this, he was cute. For me, in that moment, it was more of a, not how am I going to survive. How do I let him survive? But I think we all know the next step. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. We're definitely on alert. Uh, maybe we'll get some tasteful traps or something. I feel like those exist. Um, but yeah, we first mouse of the office. Do I grab the bat? 
that just goes Do against everything I just said. <laughs> okay, see, I think I'm gonna flip it off, okay? Just gonna open the box, not scared, just using the bat for the mouse's safety. No mouse! Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So we're fine. The thing is that answers one question but raises several others. Well, yeah, I mean, mice normally live outside and stuff, right? Yeah, they don't want to be in here. So I'm wondering, I mean, he's got to have an in out. Like, I don't think he just lives in this room. Yeah. I think we would have noticed that by now. Um, so, yeah, I was tough enough to say the mouse doesn't live in there. Opening day, Keith, Kyle, on our way to the office. But first, live from the stadium. What a beautiful day for baseball. Not here, but soon in Washington, D.C. If I was my dad, I'd be barking. Mm. I'm not my dad. Let's not get that dog. Let's listen. Mouse sighting. It's behind the box, Jake. I'm See, telling I'm you. I'm behind the box. No, it's Stay behind there. the blue box. You're fine. You're out of the room. You're safe. <sighs> But I'm interested in like seeing. Oh, okay. Things. Oh, now you want to yeah. be part of the map. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's in the home. Dude, that's a tiny little mouse. Did you get the mouse? Oh, yeah, I got the mouse. Nice. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's got to be really small, right? It's like this big. Very small. Maybe this big. It's, it's a baby. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Right across there. I think it went under me. Oh. <laughs> have a little extra incentive to get I think what last came out was 50 million in playoffs. Opening day. I promise I'll help. Three and a half hours till game time. It could be the bang energy drink I just had but I'm officially excited for baseball. It's literally pumping through my brains. Luke is killing the pipe. God, I love that hat so much on him. Go check it out at the John Boy Media Store. <laughs> Go baseball! Hey! Oh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. I mean, what's our game plan if we get it exposed? Well, I'm not afraid. unknown about this competition. He says that he's mentally preparing for pitching without fans and he feels like the greatest source of adrenaline is going to be... Let's go! I said he hit plenty of fantasy. He knows where he is. Fantasy team, homer draft. Come on, Twelve. Oh, he's sitting here. Yup! Stands back, baby. Lean stand, sweet sand, a rod. And that's the MVP swing. We're back. That the New York Yankees acquired from us. Playing it all over the place. Yankees every time they said, I bet you by the end of the game, year, the whole the thing is on. Two on homer by Robinson Cano. Don't you know? <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> Mine's a super delay. That can keep me in a city that never sleeps. Yankees just won. It's it's almost 11. Rain rain out first game 2020 classic. Garrett Cole complete game in his first Yankee start. That'll be the fun fact tomorrow. Garrett Cole first Yankee starter to go complete games and uh, White Ford. Uh, Yankees win undefeated season. Jim Carlos Stanton really good. Tyler Wade really great. <laughs> 